this is part 13 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to handle 404 errors. At the moment, we are on the employees list Razor page. When we click view, we see the respective employee details. In the URL, we are passing the ID of that specific employee and here is the details Razor page and it is this onGet method which retrieves the respective employee details using the employee ID and then populates this employee public property. The display template then binds to this public property and displays the respective employee details. What we haven't accounted for is what if we pass an ID of the employee that does not exist. For example, within our system, we don't have an employee with ID 101. We get a null reference exception. So we want to handle this scenario. If we haven't found the employee with this specified ID, then this employee property will be null. So let's check if employee equals null. If we have not found the employee, we want to redirect the request to not found Razor page. For that, we are going to use redirect to page method. We don't have this not found Razor page, we'll create it in just a bit. On the other hand, if we have found the employee, this employee property will not be null. So in that case, we want to re-render this details Razor page so we can see the respective employee details. So to re-render this details Razor page, we are going to use page method. We have a red squiggly line underneath both the return statements. That's because if you notice the return type of this redirect to page method, it is redirect to page result and the return type of this page method is page result. But the return type of this onGet method is still void. Now for us to be able to return different results from this onGet method, I'm going to change this return type from void to iActionResult. Notice now the red squiggly lines are gone. That's because all these result types, page result, redirect to page result, JSON result, view result, etc. implement iActionResult interface. All that is left right now to do is add this not found razor page. Let's add it to the pages folder. We want to add a razor page, so select that. And let's name our page not found. We want this not found razor page to display this static text, the resource you're looking for cannot be found. Let's also include an anchor element which the user can click to get back to the home page. For that, let's use asp-page tag helper. Actually, let's send the user to this index razor page in the employees subfolder. This is the page that displays the list of employees. So let's specify the path to the index razor page and that is slash employees slash index and let's style this anchor element as a button using the bootstrap btn and btn-primary classes. And the text on this is click here to get back to home. At the moment, we are on the employees list Razor page. When I click view, we see the employee details. If I specify an ID of employee that does not exist, for example, 101, we now see our not found Razor page. And when we click this button, we get back to the employees list Razor page. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.